Why did you choose your character's name? It is a reference in the Bat Family comics. In an alternate universe, Mary was the daughter of Nightwing and Starfire, and I thought it was a nice name. When has your character been most afraid? Back when we were in the Abyss hunting the Black Staff before the Revenant Vow could get it, they surprised us by taking a bunch of friends from Arendelle hostage, um, people who Mary's close with. And it was a huge surprise and, and Kyle really got one over on us. And I really didn't want those people to die, so it was a lot of pressure. What would be a perfect day for your character? She doesn't get a lot of downtime or doesn't give herself a lot of downtime. Um, so she doesn't really know. She'd probably just end up training and keeping herself busy. What has been your favorite moment of the campaign thus far? As a group, the conclusion of the whole Shadowfell, Valentine Father story arc was just a lot of fun. And it was a really, really close fight that we just barely won. Plus I got the last kill, so that's always fun. What has been your saddest D&D moment? I would say Neavir dying, and that was sad, but it was probably more Neavir refusing to come back. Um, that shocked the hell out of us and was a lot to deal with. What was the inspiration for your character? What were you hoping to explore? Uh, at the beginning, I just wanted to be Batman. It sounded great. You arrive at the local tavern. What do you order? She would order probably just the cheapest ale, uh, but wouldn't drink it just to kind of fit into the crowd. What was your character's childhood like? Short. What's something that your character believed or thought at the beginning of the game that has since changed? She used to think that everyone was either going to leave you, die on you, or just wanted something from you. Um, but since being with the wild cards and going and meeting a whole bunch of different people, everything's a little more gray than that. And some people do legitimately just want the best for others. Who's your favorite NPC? Valentine's sister Daisy was really cool and there's just something about her I liked immediately and I was sad that we didn't get too many sessions with her uh, before we had to leave that arc back, way back when. Who were you closest to before meeting the rest of the party? Well before meeting the rest of the party, years and years before she would have been closest to her mentor Orion before he died and then a bunch of other shit went down. After that, kept her distance from most people. Turn to a random page of your notebook and read the first sentence you see. This one's very short. It just says Valentine fucked up. Who of the wild cards would you trust with your life? Valentine, because he can bring you back even if he lets you die. Who's the most mischievous? Hondo, obviously. Who in the wild cards is most likely to betray the party? Gord, because he, he's into some sketchy shit. Need a wingman for a date. Who do you choose? Lavender. She's really good at getting people to open up. What's your role in the party? I help protect the party, either from external forces or sometimes just from themselves. You get in a street fight. Who do you want at your back? I, I would say Hondo, but he probably joined the other side, so probably Elena. You get arrested. Who do you ask for? Uh, Valentine, he can talk to you about anything. What's your favorite part about playing d and I like the escapism of it. It's just something to look forward to every week where you get to be creative and you can just ignore the regular world and have fun with friends with stakes that you know you can probably come up against. <laughs>